Hello and welcome to the lesson on mutually exclusive events. So two events are mutually exclusive when they cannot both happen at the same time. So in the case of question one, the scale shows the probability that Simon will take his dog for a walk in the morning. So he cannot do them both, he will either walk his dog or he will not. So the probability of Simon walking the dog plus the probability of not walking the dog will equal to 1. He will either walk the dog or he will not and that is certain. And we've been given him a question now the probability of him walking the dog is 4 6 and the probability of not walking we're going to work out and that is equal to 1. So by taking away 4 6 from both sides of our equation these will cancel and we're left with the probability of Simon not walking the dog, which is 1 minus 4, 6. We can write the 1 as 6, 6 minus the 4, 6. So we're left with 2, 6. And we know that 2, 6 will simplify to make 1 third. And that is the probability of not walking the dog okay do you want to try question two by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready so the probability that dad cooks dinner is 0.4 what is the probability that he does not cook dinner so it is certain that dad will either cook or not cook so the probability of dad cooking or the probability of dad not cooking will equal 1. Cook or not cook will e is certain. And we've been given that the probability of dad cooking is 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 plus the probability of dad not cooking will equal 1. And we can take away 0 0.4 from both sides. So these will cancel. So we're left with the probability of dad not cooking will equal 1 minus 0.4, which is equal to 0.6. Okay, let's try one more question. For question 3, a bag contains red, green, blue and white counters. The probabilities for each are given. What is the probability of picking a blue counter? Do you want to try this question by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we know it is mutually exclusive. He will pick a red, a green, a blue, or a white because he cannot pick two colours at once. So the probability of red plus the probability of picking a green plus the probability of picking a blue plus the probability of picking a white will equal one. It is certain that one of the four colours will be picked. And we can substitute these numbers into our equation. So we have probability of red, which is 0.2, plus the probability of green, which is 0.1, plus the probability of blue, which we're trying to find, added to the probability of white, which is 0.5, is equal to 1. We can add the numbers together. So the probability of picking a blue added to 0.8 is equal to 1. By taking away 0.8 from both sides, these will cancel and we're left with the probability of blue is equal to 1 minus 0.8, which is equal to 0.2. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.